Welcome, this is Danish, the founder of jobskillshare.org, job skills training. In this video, we are going to talk about the most common entry that we get on daily basis. And that is, I want to become a cybersecurity professional, I want to become a cloud admin, I want to become a sysadmin, I want to become a network admin. And usually, what is our common answer? So let's break this down. Now, before I start explaining the JSS method and what we have been doing for past 10 years, if you start asking this question on Reddit, Google, YouTube, you name it, Discord, and you say that, is it possible to get into IT with just degree? You're going to get an answer, yes. Is it possible to get in IT with just certification? You're going to get answer, yes. Is it possible to have no degree, no certification? Yes. Is it possible that if I know somebody, can I get into IT? Yes. So the answer is this you can go and ask this question from 15 people and you may get 15 different answers. So it's possible to get into IT this way. If you're a beginner, you may be shocked. But the thing is this, is it easy to get it one way or another way? If you just go to a degree and the degree is not skills-focused degree, it doesn't have a lot of practical knowledge, it's not relating to the job market skills and it's just theory upon theory and some you know, random courses that they have added into your degree, of course, sure, this is yes, this yes will become no in most cases. If you go to the certification and you just pass a dump exams in few days, or you just, you know, pass like 10 certification, but you don't know exactly what you're targeting, this will become no, because you don't know how to create a resume, targeted resume and all that sort of stuff. So a lot of people come to our platform with both with a lot of certification, with high-end certification, still they are complaining that I, I can't even get this first job. Now, someone will come and look, I didn't have nothing and I, still, I, I got the job and I, I am an IT support right now, so what do I do next now? How do I prepare myself? Because now I'm actually going to go tomorrow and tickets will be coming. I don't want to be like always asking, please teach me. Because if you go with nothing, then you're going to always say, please teach me. Now, you must be thinking, why JSS? Why should I use your flow? What's so special about it? There's nothing special. It's all built on issues. And the issues is simple. So let's say, for example, somebody landed a job in IT. That's where they first started. And that individual jumped to a cloud administration, which is basically, let's say, that's what they wanted. Now, they may have jumped to that role and they would have done a lot of labs and a lot of things. And let's say they got an AWS or Azure specific role. Now, let's say they missed or skipped the network administration and core skills, like just learning about uh, Active Directory type of domains, uh, DNS, DHCP configuration, and things like that. Let me tell you what will happen to this individual. This individual will be happy to get this job, but as, as soon as they get a project that will be hitting DNS, IP networking inside the cloud, that's where they're going to realize that okay, I need to know, I need to go back to my basics. That that doesn't mean they need to be, they need to change their job title or they need to change their job. It's just more stress. It's more stress. I have seen a lot of program uh, claim that zero to cloud administrator or uh, transition from help desk to cloud without doing this sort of stuff. Two things. One, that individual or that platform uh, would have this as a main selling program where it can cost thousands of dollars and that's the best way to sell because they can just quickly make you learn these skills and yes, get you the job. But then they say, I don't give a damn about your stress. I don't care about your stress, right? This is where we have a very big disagreement with any sort of that type of approach. Now, you must be saying, well, JSS is trying to uh, take you this program and take you this program and then get you to the cloud. Well, that is what we want to do. We want to make sure that people don't come up to us again and say, oh, I'm missing my fundamentals. You guys put me in a, an advanced program. I got the job, but then I'm super stressed and I may even get fired. And that's actually happened because we are trainers. We are teachers. We see, we have seen for the past 10 years, thousands of students from different angles. We are not a one individual spend, let's say, 15 years in one company or two companies and, and we just brain uh, hard-coded that in our brain that this is how you do, do IT. No, we look at different individual immigrants, students, veterans, this, that, different angles. And then what is the common issue? The common issue is not knowing the foundational knowledge, going to more advanced specialization roles, somehow somebody gets you in which is very common in this type of trainings. And then they don't care about your mental health. They don't care about that. They say that, look, you 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 paid us. You got the job. It's a high-end job. What else do you want? 
This is not my thing to take care of your trust. So, but if that that program have some sort of uh, capabilities to uh, make sure that they take care of your foundational knowledge, they make sure that you they know you're in stress mode, so they can help you. Then I say yes, that's a great program. So JSS is not against any jumping to more advanced roles that we think are advanced, like cybersecurity directly. It's possible. But it comes with stress. And if you already are aware of this stress area and you can handle it, then I think it's good. But because we have been teaching for the past 10 years, uh, this is where we are telling people that don't do this. Don't just jump to a very specialized role before you start something. Now, when it comes to our approach, it's going to be the first one, which is IT support. Don't spend years in this. We tell people at least six months because this is where you get to really say that, okay, IT support is not my thing. I'm not going to spend my time in IT support. I need to move up. This is why I want to get into IT. But remember, IT support is your A, B, C, D. A lot of people forget this. I have even seen our own members. They get to a very advanced roles and then they start talking about advanced roles to other new individuals while they forgot that where they have started, that breakthrough, that mind, mindset, that, that uh, patience to learn technology started from the ABCD and that was their IT support training in the beginning. So if you are not going to go and do this job, at least learn what is available in this area. That's like just fundamentals of like, you know, understanding how network works, how domains are connected at the very basic level, at the user level. And then we tell people that you cannot skip this one, which is a core skills for network and systems administration like DHCP, DNS, IP networking, Active Directory. You can't skip this if you want to do a more advanced roles in this industry. Some people say, well, I, I don't need to do all this stuff. This is all like on-premises stuff. I'm just going to go straight to 100% cloud type of technologies or, or, or companies. Well, this is a very low percentage. And again, if you don't know how to do DNS type of things, you don't know how to do networking. Cloud is also, cloud has its own networking, DNS, everything the same way over here. This is the core. So again, you may land this job, but you're actually learning all of this stuff on the fly and you are learning it with stress. Now, it's up to the people who are more honest. They will come and say, look, I am going through some stress. I am learning all these things. This is true. And you need to learn the core scares. Or somebody will be just like, no, 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 you don't need to do this, man. You just you just go to the AWS as your, and you start getting 100, 100K right away. You don't know to, you don't need to do all these things. Why, why? What's the, I mean, this is old school. Don't do this. I have done it. Look at me. 1% or maybe below that 1%. I don't really believe in this stuff. This is like, you know, somebody goes to a lottery, they get something and they win the lottery and then still their brain is created in a way that they don't take stress somehow. But that's not what we see for the 10 years. People come to us, a cloud engineer come to us saying that I, my company just got a contract and now they have a company that are using on-premises servers Active Directory and things like that. And I'm super stressful because I don't even know how to connect these two together. Think about it. So this is how things are going to play in your role. So we don't do this. We don't jump to something that will create a problem for us because it's so easy for us to, to sell our advanced programs. We have everything. We have advanced programs all the way to uh, cloud administration right now. So why not we sell that and make more money from people like who are new to this industry, we're not going to do that because they're going to come back to us. And they will say, you guys were the, the reason why I'm in a mental health issues. So you got to go through this step, then this step, then go to your favorite role, which is whichever, cybersecurity, sysadmin, network admin, whatever it is. Then you get into specialization. At this point, you may not need us because at this point, you are so good at your stuff and you may pick on one specialized area like Azure, AWS, and you just go deeper into that to make sure that you become the master of that area. So that is specialization. The last one that we have, we have been promoting is passive income through your skills. If you Even if you go do this for two years, you can come back and start creating content to make more money. Because there's so many people that like different approach, different accent, different flow of training, of teaching, that this area is something where we are right now. We have been through all of the other areas, working with MSPs, companies, training, corporate training, college training, all that sort of stuff, working with many projects, even in development. 
now we we are doing this for the past many many years and we see how beneficial this can be for someone who wants to make side income and this is something we also promote now in our platform where somebody comes with a specialization type of skills with us and they're like look i'm bored for 10 years i've been doing the same thing i need to do something new i need to make more income and i want to do something different that can create an impact we say that hey why don't you work with us we have over 100,000 uh, members reach with us on Udemy on JSS and we will give you a good revenue go ahead and tell us what do you have and what you can bring to the table and let's work on it this is something that you're not going to get out in any other platform because no one's going to give you their brand so we basically save you from making the youtube udemy here there that that can takes you a decade of work or marketing and everything to make sure that you get to the point and you still will not be able to compete with with big platforms so we are also here so we have went to a stage where i think this is the max we can go in it okay we're still working with a lot of other big things but in b2c type of area this is where we can go all the way so our approach is very simple and to the new individuals i already explained that you can get into it many ways you can ask an individual with 20 years of experience and if that person have done degree that person will tell you go do the degree because i did it now like i said that that's your choice but if you are true to yourself go ahead and give this a try jss is the platform that you can learn the skills that little less stressful way and and in a more uh like you know in a, in a method where it's kind of like a flow so you don't jump here and there and there and here and all that sort of stuff to become this person where you say i am so stressed with this technology that things are very hard for me to to complete so you don't need to do that with us this is how we do it you are free to pick anything you like but this is our process now i'm going to demonstrate how you can get started with jss if you go to jobskillshare.org we have two options for our members to get started number one is a membership which is a full 100% self paced membership with hands on approach if you pick the premium membership and you can read more about it right here if you click on this button and this will take you to the coaching program basically coaching program is also 100% self paced but it comes with more individual approach where a trainer a mentor everybody will be in the discord and then they can guide you step by step so you're not alone in membership you're doing everything by yourself in coaching self paced but somebody's actually guiding you with more material much more support so at the end of the day you need references uh, all that sort of things and that's something that has been happening for many many years when we train somebody people call us for reference and we basically give that reference if you choose the membership approach you can see we make it very easy for our members where we have roadmaps so once you start uh, your courses you click on the left side as a roadmap and this is the first roadmap that we recommend everyone who's new to IT basically this is where it's going to prepare you for the IT support role any type of IT support role and you will learn everything from scratch and some good level 1 and level 2 skills right here and once you basically start this roadmap it has a nice uh, you know like a roadmap type of design you will see a step by step approach with courses and labs so let's say this is your first course you are going to get in learn from the basics you will do a lot of labs that are integrated inside these courses these are real labs and then you will basically do part 2 the third course which is active directory uh soft skills and behavioral skills and the last course is going to prepare you for the job the template and everything and people have done it one example that i want to show you right now that recently happened here is sara uh basically you can see uh her success story right here hello my name is sara my recent professional background uh, you know basically she's coming from the customer service background for some product type of support but she wanted to get into it and basically this is where she mentioned that she started the it uh, as a premium membership with us and she took the modern it support training and uh basically long story short she got a job with a msp which is a proper it role and now she is basically coming to our coaching program because she thinks she needs more help and she wants to move up to more advanced roles such as azure administrator but that the flow that i mentioned before that we told her that you need to know that stuff the core services so she will do that and then she will move up and this is just one story that i'm sharing out of hundreds of stories you can come to our discord and check that out yourself so if you want to be using the membership and not the coaching services and you want to move up let's say from it support to more advanced role 
the core services in our uh, basically in our transitioning skills. So once you decide that I want to move up, then you will take the transitioning skills roadmap, and that's where you will see the network uh, and systems administration core services, which this is one course only, but it's a very long course. So let's say you are a premium member and you're only using this approach. After this, you can easily go for specialization or whatever you like. If you want to become, let's say, a proper sysadmin, then you can go more uh, administration level, uh, like server level courses, labs, and things like that. If you want to become a network engineer, Cisco network engineer, you will go with a more Cisco type of approach. But even if you finish this one long course, you are going to be able to do a junior sysadmin level or network level admin jobs because it's a very technical course. And that's what we recommend people to finish this. And then later on, cloud, CS, all of these things are going to become pretty easy because you know something uh, very important that you're going to come across in any type of technical roles in IT. Now, if you say that, look, I don't have like this self-paced approach type of, uh, you know, uh, efforts or maybe I can't do this. I need someone to properly follow me and step by step. At the beginner level, you should go to our coaching services, go through this page. And the first program that you can take with us is IT support coaching program. It covers a lot of certification, extra material, more help. It's more expensive than membership, but it's definitely the, our main features that we offer in JSS. And even in some universities and colleges, this is being uh, used, but we can't say their names because they are actually using it to sell the program. So here we have this as a beginner level. And then here we have that if you have the IT support, just like Sarah, she want to move up now. She started doing this program and now she's doing back and forth with the trainer in the Discord. If you want to, uh, if you have finished IT administration skills or you know the networking basics, you understand what basics are, Active Directory, Domain, and DNS, and you're very comfortable with that, but you want to move up to cybersecurity after IT support, you can do that with cybersecurity right here in this role. Every uh, uh, program will take you to the links. If you click on the link more, or learn more, and then it will have its own process for approval. This program does not require any approval. So if you're new, you should just take this immediately and join our Discord with, uh, you know, many of our members who have joined us. They have landed the job. They are there to actually help you. And also you will see the new member just like you who started before you. So you can interact with them, get more references, more connections and everything. So this is how we do a proper work in JSS and come on here and learn about JSS as well by clicking on this video and uh, learn about Bradley William too. Um, there's so many things going on in JSS right now and we are happy to help people out who believe in this sort of process and uh, that's what we have been doing for the past 10 years now. Thank you so much.